Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you don't know anything about this channel, uh, we have went out, this channel's went out, and we've purchased entry level guitars uh, after doing tons of research that we felt like you could buy at a really budget friendly price that will actually be decent guitars. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is go to Fret Not One or go to Fret Not Guitar Reviews, either, both on YouTube and uh, get on the page, find one of the guitars that's in a giveaway, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and then type the words D-O-N-E into the comments under the video, and that puts you in to win a guitar. Yep. Welcome to Fred Knot. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series, where we have a new guitar. And it just happens to be one of your favorite brands. It is one of my favorite brands. I am a Schecter fanboy, and I don't deny it. <laughs> I like them. They're within the budget for me. Right, right. They sound pretty good. So this is a Schecter C6 Deluxe. Deluxe. Nice. There's not a whole lot of specs on this guitar to go over with, so we're just going to kind of keep that short and sweet. It's uh, got six strings, a body, and a neck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's not wrong. So... Got lots to talk about on this guitar. Obviously, we get through the review of this guitar. We're going to give you guys a chance to win it. Uh, we're going to let you hear it in a mix in a second. And uh, since we don't really have a whole lot to talk on the specs, it looks like it's got a maple neck. Yeah. And maybe like a rosewood fretboard. It does look rosewoody. Yeah, it is rosewoody. Mm -hmm. And it's got a couple of Schecter pickups. We're going to get to that in a second. It's like a powder blue kind of cobalt color. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but on the back here... I promised you guys a rant, and I'm gonna make it tiny. Right there, that sticker says Schecter, ready to play. Ready to play, I don't know. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's what it says, I can promise you. Okay, so in the past, we ordered a very expensive, a really, a, a more expensive Schecter bass, and we ordered it from Guitar Center, of all people. And um, Guitar sent it to us in a pretty prompt fashion. Long story short, we got it, it was sitting in a box. Mm -hmm. No padding, no nothing, just in a box. Not and I was much. like, really? We spend that much money on a guitar and you can't even put padding in the box? But mm -hmm. anyway, I let that go. So we was gonna order a guitar for this particular show. Long story short, I looked around. This is normally a certain price and it was a little cheaper on Amazon. So I thought, well, if it's cheaper on Amazon, they'll get it to me in a couple of days. My wife's proud, there you go. <laughs> so I ordered it, uh, we got it in. First thing I saw when I opened the box, it did have padding. It was actually Some. packaged halfway yeah. decent. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I took it out. I seen the sticker, ready to play. I was like, bet. Nice. Let's see it. Turn it over. All six strings laying on the neck. Yep, just floppy little slinkies. And I'm like, well, maybe it needs to be tuned. Tuned it up, still laid on the neck. So what we normally don't do is we try not to do anything to any guitar because we want to show you the guitar the way you would get it. That's mm -hmm. the whole purpose of the channel. I had to go to my luthiers to get something else done on a different guitar, so I said, I'll throw it in there. Took it over there. He did the other guitar. I told him, I said, hey, man, can you just straighten that out? And he looked at it, and he goes, yeah, the, the, the neck's got a little bit of relief in it or whatever, so he straightened the neck up, put the strings where they are, mm -hmm. threw it back in the box, came home, didn't think nothing about it. Got back home, turns out I had to go back 48 hours later. Now in that 48 hours, I played the guitar one time and it was right before I left to go back to see the luthier about another guitar. Long story short, good thing I did, because two of the frets, I believe on the neck, were raised. And so we had two frets that were completely dead. So when I took it back, he fixed those. Now, the little guitar plays really well. Yeah. And honestly, you're going to hear it in a second, and you be the judge, but this is probably number 15 that we've given away or something in that it's, area. It's got to be around there. Um, I think those pickups are, if you don't know, we use the Quad Cortex, and right now we've been stuck on the Gojira X patch, uh, one of the, the JD patches on there, and that's pretty much what we try to kind of keep everything on because it just sounds great. It does. I think those pickups sound as good probably better than anything else we've reviewed in the entry-level series straight out of the box. 
Yeah, out of the box, they they've got a pretty decent sound to them. They're 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 raspy. Mm -hmm. They do have definition. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you they're <clears throat> bare knuckles or long grins or nothing like that. But I'm telling you for the money, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. That's a pretty good little metal guitar. Yeah, I I like it. I mean, aside from its little flaws that we had to kind of, you know, go through in the beginning to get it playable, you know, ready to play. <laughs> uh, that aside. Now that it's playable, I like it, and uh, I think it sounds pretty good. And um, I don't just other than the initial getting the guitar, you know, mm -hmm. I, I I've got complaints mm -hmm. without how they ship it, and so do you. Yeah. That all that aside, I think it's a pretty good guitar. I do too. So make sure you understand. Even though I went twice to the luthier, I'm like thirty five bucks in this guitar, extra. It's not like I wouldn't spend a ton of money. It wasn't expensive. It was the aggravation. All right, so I promise you, here's my 45 seconds. <laughs> I can order from Cho Jung Yim, whoever in Korea, China, Singapore, it don't matter. And I never heard of the company, and I can order a guitar from them, and it can come from there and get to me and be perfect. If I order from a big box brand, it's crap out the box. My only retort to that is that it could have been sitting in Amazon's warehouse for however long. We, You're probably right. We don't really have that much control over You're that. You're probably now, right. If this came directly from Schechter. I don't think it did. And it was like this. I don't think it did. That hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to say. They rubbed some salt in my wound. Right. If that was the case. But I don't think so. I think, I it, think it's a third party. Yeah. It's a C6, so it's been out for a while. It's probably one of the last they had. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's probably on a top shelf. It's probably been through 50 million weather changes. Yeah. I'm not blaming Schechter, but now I will tell you this. Since we're talking about specs, you know what you see on uh, YouTube and you see the guys that do the little balloon test? Uh, you need about 500 balloons to go down one side of that neck. That's how <laughs> pointy it is. It doesn't really affect you playing as much, but if you take two fingers and do that, it's like razor blades. It is. It is not. Yeah, it's it's pretty rough. So, but I'm gonna tell you what. For the money, if you need to metal, I think that little sucker metals really well. Yeah, I think it would do pretty good. All right. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna shut up, quit wasting your time. We're gonna let you hear this in a mix. We're gonna come back, talk price point. You kind of already know how we got it, and our overall thoughts. Is it worth the money? Should you buy something else? And maybe give you a little update on what's coming up next for you guys. Yeah, sounds All right, good. So we're gonna shut up and let you hear this in a mix. Okay, we're back. You got to hear it in the mix. What do you think about it? You played it. I like it. Um, I don't have too many complaints. I mean, other than just, like I, we mentioned before, the general <coughs> getting it and <clears throat> making it ready to play. After all of that, uh, I think it plays pretty good. I think, I think it, it really does. I think it, play, I think it sounds better. I think that's its best attribute because I think it's not an expensive guitar. So um, this guitar sells most of the big box stores for about, 349 359 somewhere in that area we picked it up on amazon for 329 um hence maybe the reason we got the dud that could be. <laughs> <laughs> but listen 
it plays really good. Uh, I hope you can tell, especially if you, I mean, I don't know how much you guys go back and listen, but if you go back and listen to the other guitars we reviewed and you listen to them on that same patch, that guitar sounds like it was built to do that. Yeah. Those pickups do. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a little bit out of what we normally spend on a guitar, but you know, it's got that Schecter name on it. Oh, it does. part two of the rant, part two of the rant. So why is it that big box companies build the guitars in the same place, a lot of times the same freaking factory as the no-name companies, i.e. Amazon guitars, and the Amazon guitars are 100 bucks less. Yep. I think it's because they don't have all those employees to pay. Yeah, that could be. You know, they got to pay all that advertising and, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Oh, we're so-and-so. Yep. That's, you're paying for the so-and-so name. So, you know, when we started this channel, I thought, me being intelligent or so, I thought what I was going to be able to do is give you the definitive answer where mm -hmm. you buy your guitars when you can't put your hands on them. Mm -hmm. And I don't think out of 15 guitars, we figured that out yet. Not yet. I mean, I've got my money in a few, in a few places. I do have my money in a few places, but... At the same time, we didn't really sit down and watch other channels for like six months and study them before we started doing this. I knew other people did it. I mean, I had run across the thumbnails where people did it, but I didn't like go study them to see how to do our channel. If yeah. you can't tell, we, we just talk to you. Yeah. But after we started, you can't help because where YouTube recommends it, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You can't help but go back and see what other people say. And a lot of the guitars that we went, man, that's a steal. Just mm -hmm. go buy it. They're like, I don't know, man. That's not really a good guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it all comes down to you don't ever know. But I think there's a few brands, maybe Leo James. Mm -hmm. So far, I know it's weird, but IYV. IYV's got some good ones. Um, I've been pretty impressed with T's. T's is a, a, that's probably the better buy on the market right now. If you're into that style of guitar, I think it's probably the better buy. Yeah. Um, and um, Firefly. Firefly does pretty good. And Harley Benton, those aren't too bad either. Uh, I, yeah, I love the Harley Bentons. We had that one issue with that one, but hey, we yeah. didn't up, end up giving that away. That really wasn't in the, the entry-level metal series anyway, so mm -hmm. that's not really. But the little one we just gave away, I think that went to the New York area. Yeah. And I think he gets it tomorrow. Nice. He ought to be getting it tomorrow, so that's going to be cool. Um, we don't want to keep you guys, but listen, we have a ton of stuff coming up, and I know I've said that for a while, but literally it takes a while to piecemeal all this stuff together. So, A, if you, anything, if you know anything about the channel, we do have a series called Meet Your Maker, and that's where you get to meet the luthiers of, like, the high-end custom guitars. We've got about four more lined up. Um, we're going to start shooting that probably within the month. Um, and I talked to our local luthier at the guitar spot, mm -hmm. and Kevin's going to come on and do an episode, and he's going to give you years of information from working in a shop fixing people's guitars. Guitar shop wisdom. Yep, and uh, he has some really good antidotes, um, and he has some really good information for you if you're just looking to buy your first guitar. He's got a little checkoff list that you can go and never put your hands on the guitar and just look. And if you any of that stuff's on there, don't buy that guitar. It's like uh, one of those, wow, I, like a flow chart. Yes. A guitar flow chart. He you want this? Yes. Chart. Do you yeah. not want that? No? Right, then go right. here. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting for you guys. Also, if you didn't know, we're probably, and the only reason I say probably is we have to find the right stuff. It's not a question of if we will. It's probably. But he has built guitars for years. He does guitars for famous musicians. He does everything for everybody. He honestly does them for us, so he don't really have a, a very high bar on who comes <laughs> in his shop. <laughs> but we talked, and instead of him building a guitar from scratch like a high-end luthier would, we're going to go on. We're going to take you guys through this process. We're going to shop the Internet. We're going to buy a body from over here, a neck from over here, some pickups from over there, a bridge, some tuners. He's going to work his magic and mix that all up in a pot. And, you know, depending on what we get, he's going to put some color to it, I guess. I don't know what we're getting yet because we're out there searching right now. And then we're going to take you guys with us as we do a parts guitar off the Internet, hopefully 
cheap, maybe not quite that cheap, but close to that. And then we're going to give you guys a chance to win it. Nice. Going to make them a Frankenstein. Right? <laughs> and uh, if I can figure out how to do it, it's not going to have a name up there. It's just going to have Fret Knot on it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There you go. That'd be kind of cool. The Fret Knot guitar. You um, vote. Do you want you want it to say Fret Knot? Yeah, you got to. Yeah, tell us if you want it to say Fret Knot or not. To be honest with you, my name ain't going on it, but Fret Knot's name could go on it. I can put my name on it. Yeah, so <laughs> we just call it Colton. Yeah, the Colton. The Colton. Um, another thing real quick, we have another luthier that happens to be within about two hours of us. We located him a couple months ago. We've been talking. Uh, we've already set plans in place. He's building us a custom monster uh, from scratch. We're going to be going up here in a few weeks. We're going to sit down, do a, a show for the Meet Your Maker series, and we're going to get to introduce you to him. We're going to let you see all the parts that we picked out. As he starts to build it, we're going to let you see him in his shop working, maybe cutting out a body or something, and let you figure out who he is. And you really ought to go check him out, man, because he makes amazing stuff. Yeah. And then we'll bring that guitar back. We'll keep you guys with us. We'll bring that guitar back, and that'll go on the High Gain series. Nice. Looking forward to it. We got all kinds of stuff going on. And I know it's early to say this, but 2025 is coming quick, man. It and is. I promise you, as long as his boss don't fire him and I can drag him away... <laughs> We're going to be going to guitar shows. I plan on being at NAMM. We're going to film NAMM for you. And we're going to try to, as of right now, we're not going to be sponsored to go to NAMM. And I really don't want to be sponsored because I don't want them telling me what I can shoot. Or I don't, say or anything right, like that. I don't yeah. want them telling me what I need to focus on or whatever. I want to go to NAMM, us go to NAMM, and I want to shoot all the stuff. I want to talk to people because I want to ask the questions you guys would ask. I'm not just going to see Fender and Ibanez. Right. You know what I mean? I want to go see all the other people because that's the heartbeat of the industry, not those, not the big box brands. Mm -hmm. Do you think I got like some kind of animosity against big box brands? I don't think so. I mean, you got a, <laughs> you got a PRS, so I do have a Ormsby PRS. I have an my own I have a so. Mayonas. No, I, I don't think you do at all. Those are becoming big box brands, aren't they? Mayonas and Ormsby. I mean, there's so many of them out there. I mean, if I were to ask somebody, hey, do you know of Mayonnaise? And they said, yeah, I'd say, yes, that's a big box brand. I then. guess so. I guess so. Um, and if you didn't see it, man, go back to the channel. Go to the High Gain Series. Check out that Lacello man, uh, the Obsidian we just got. That is a mean guitar from Canada, my buddy up there. Man, he does such good work, man. Uh, so happy that we got a, hold of, got a chance to get that guitar, even though it took a while to get it because all the paint mess ups and stuff. A little bit. Man, it came out good. It did. It really did. It that thing nice. is a monster, man. It's a beast. Okay, we've wasted enough of your time. You got to hear this guitar, probably 329 to 349. Um, maybe yours will actually come ready to play. I hope so. But if, if it does, uh, or if it don't, it ain't going to cost you a bunch of money. It wasn't nothing broken on it. It just, it was probably sitting somewhere for a long time. Very, very minimal to get it running. And I still think, man, those are probably some of the best entry-level pickups I've heard. They are, and they're just Schecter brand. Yeah, they're their own brand. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they're the, other than that, the guitar is solid as it can be. Yeah, I like it. It's comfortable to play. Um, it don't have no big shark fin coming off <laughs> the end of it, so that's already a plus in my Oh, book. you don't even know the guitar that's coming in is another one of those. It's a shark fin. I'm just kidding. We got a new one coming in for you for next week, and I really think you guys are going to like that. We've uh, been waiting on this one for a while for the Entry Level Metal Series. It just shipped the other day. says so it'll be here Monday. So for next week, you'll have another one. Nice. And Saturday, we got another guitar yeah. to give away, and that will be the, I think I checked the records. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. The Fogil. The Fogil. Okay. I think it's time for the Fogil. Nice. Good She'll deal. be coming up this weekend. Stay tuned for that. So we have a ton of stuff coming for you guys. Please remember, our memberships are live, and so is our uh, super thanks button, man. If you can get in and help us on anything, it'd be great. It helps us keep the lights on. Uh, we're still working on the studio. I, I really, I can't make them drive nails any faster. You know what I mean? I, not much I can do. So, anyway, we appreciate you guys. We're humbled to be a uh, for you guys to be a part of our audience, and we're humbled to be a part of yours. Mm -hmm. And until next time, stay tuned.